What's going on guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and guess what, today we're gonna actually take a look at an Asus Republic of Gamers product. Yeah, I haven't actually taken a look at anything from Asus Republic of Gamers in quite a long time. And actually, since I had my AMD system. But hey, I, I digress. Today we're gonna take a look at the Asus Gladius Gaming Mouse. Now you guys know me, I don't like to do unboxings and things, so you know that I've already taken it out of the box. As you can see, it's not in there. But we're gonna talk about just some basic features of this thing, and then we're gonna talk about what makes it kind of unique. Now, Asus has been making some gaming peripherals for quite a while, headsets and, and things like that, but this is kind of an, an all new mouse. Now, when I posted a picture of this mouse on Instagram, uh, people immediately said, well, that looks like a death adder. The whole shape of it looks like a death adder, yada, yada, yada. Well, it does kind of look like a death adder in terms of the shape, but trust me when I say that this is entirely different than a death adder. Now, when it comes to the switches, they are Omron switches, which is kind of the norm, rated up to 20 million clicks. A detachable cable, you guys notice that, there's no cable on this thing. It's actually got a two detachable cables. Now, they give you a long braided cable right here, which is perfect for your desktop and stuff, but if you're an on-the-go gamer or you have a, a laptop or something and you guys are going out and about, there's also a shorter rubber cable. So what's really cool about that is you don't have to dig around behind your computer and unplug the cable and take it with you. You can actually have a separate travel cable and leave your braided cable on your computer or vice versa uh, at all times. It's a micro USB that just clicks right into the front of the mouse right here. And if you're like me, chances are you don't like plugging things. I actually have to put it in the right way. It was upside down. I don't like having corded mice that are removable because they tend to well unplug on me if they get snagged, but not these. These are actually locked in there and there's a little uh, spring-loaded lever on the bottom that you use to, as you see, pull that back and there the cable comes out. So it basically is a nice modular cable here in a sense that it's not gonna pull out on you and it locks in there and you can switch between them so that you can have one mouse for LAN parties and or travel for work or whatever. That's actually really cool. Now when it comes to the optical sensor, it's a 6400 DPI adjustable optical sensor. Not a laser, it is an optical. Now I don't know exactly which opti optics are in there because it doesn't say on the box and I looked online and I looked on Asus's website and I looked at the review uh, guide and I couldn't find exactly which optical sensor is in there, but it is 6400 DPI adjustable. Now this does have two thumb switches on the left and no switches on the right and the ergonomics of this mouse do make it purely a right-handed mouse. So if you guys are left-handed or you're not ambidextrous and you're left-handed, yeah, this isn't gonna really fit your hand too well. It is not ergonomical for the left hand whatsoever. Uh, but both of these thumb buttons are completely programmable as you would expect with any gaming mouse. But what makes this mouse really unique is the fact that, well, they keep talking about the fact that they have left and right buttons. Well, I guess that's really not all that unique. Every mouse I've ever used has left and right buttons as well as a scroll wheel and a clickable scroll wheel and on the fly DPS adjustments. But what makes this, my, this mouse, not mice, mice would be plural, more than one. I only have one of them. Uh, is the fact that it has removable buttons. Now I'm not gonna demonstrate how to do that because to do it, you have to peel up the feet. And even though they do give you extra feet right here, I don't want to waste this set. But if you remove these feet, there's four screws under there. You take those four screws out, the mouse comes apart like a clamshell and you can actually replace the Omron switches. Now they give you two extra Japanese Omron switches in here and they basically are hot swappable. They just pull out and they stick right in there. So you can actually adjust this to your liking if you were to get different Omron switches of different weights or different gram weights. So you could completely tune this to your liking. Now out of the box, I, I like the way that the clicks feel. Um, the mouse itself is pretty light. Uh, that makes it really good for travel, but if you're like me and you're used to using, like I use a Reaper mouse for my daily driver and it's a pretty heavy mouse because it's mostly metal. It doesn't creak when you squeeze it. It's very, very solid. The cable doesn't wiggle or pull out. Like I mentioned, it's removable uh, by pulling back the lock and it actually sits in there really, really tight. 
and it even has a nice ROG uh, logo on the back that illuminates it when you're playing games. And if you download the suite, you can adjust the DPI and you can adjust the LED uh, breathing mode or blinking mode or solid or whatever. It does only glow red, but that's pretty much expected since it is the ROG theme, it's red. So it's only gonna be red, but it has a very, very nice look to it. And one other thing that I really like about this mouse is the fact that it has the rubber grips on the side, both for your thumb and for your ring finger and pinky finger. So if you get kind of sweaty, that's kind of gross, but if you get really sweaty when you play or you're at a LAN party and it gets really hot with all those computers or just gets hot in your gaming room like mine here, then you're not gonna worry about losing your grip on your mouse. It's actually very, very solid. So guys, I think the Gladius mouse here is fantastic. Go and check it out. I'll put a link to the product down in the description. Uh, through the Asus page, it's not available just yet in stores. It just launched as of the publishing of this video. Make sure you check the date, depending on when you watch this video, because if you watch it way into the future, I guess it could be an old mouse by that time. But as of right now, this moment, it's a brand new mouse, and I like it. So guys, this has been Jay's Two Cents. First look at the ROG Gladius mouse here from Asus. I think it's a fantastic mouse. I'm gonna be using it for a little while uh, because I think it's very, very comfortable. And so far, I'm really pleased with this, and I'm very picky when it comes to mice, so that's saying a lot. Uh, as always, guys, follow on Twitter if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, feel free to hit dislike as well because it lets me know what you guys like to see on the channel. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next one.